obviously a guy you know really well and Jace will be, a, you know, during the back season to forwards, but could you just give us an idea of, of what Jason Ryan brings to this role and, and to coaching? Um, yeah, as, as you said, I'm not uh, I'm not in the forwards and, and amongst all those chats, but um, what I do know is Jason's a, a really hard worker. He's really honest and um, I think he's just going to bring a bit of clarity to, to the forwards and, and what they need to achieve. And obviously there's a huge a huge challenge in what South Africa bring and dominating up front. So uh, he'll have his hands full there, but he's well capable. Has it felt like a, a pretty seamless transition for, for Jace from... Um, you know the Crusaders coming in here, and have, have you spoken spoken to him about kind of what comes with the All Black environment? Oh, I haven't really. We've we've only had two days in camp since he's come in, but the best thing is he's just going to be himself. Um, he won't beat around the bush. He'll be honest, and he knows he has a lot of work to do to get where he needs to be. And everyone in the forwards and forwards and management will help him get there. How honest have the conversations had to be between you guys as a group? heading into Africa on the back of that series. Yeah, really honest. We're um, no illusion, you know, it wasn't good enough uh, against Ireland in the series that was had, but we're looking forward to the opportunity to right a few wrongs and um, to be better because we know we're, we're capable and um, we need to make a statement about, you know, who we are as, as All Blacks and the standard that, that comes with. Have senior players had separate meetings amongst yourselves, senior players or the leadership group? Yeah, they have, yep, yeah, they have. Um, had to adjust where we're at as a team and the current situation and to work out what, what's best, um, you know, priorities for, for the coming test against South Africa. How weird is it to turn up yesterday with two assistant coaches gone? Yeah, it's about, um, for us as leaders, what we need to do on the field and that's perform better. Um, we're not pointing at anyone else's role but ourselves, we're looking in the mirror and had to be real honest with ourselves and our performance and it's not good enough. Uh, but we know the opportunities that lie ahead and, and where we can take this team. What's it been like just dealing with this I guess, unprecedented situation? You're obviously you're used to winning most of your games and now you find yourself on this tough run. Does it, and the pressure that comes with it, does it feel different? It does, but what, a, what an awesome opportunity. Like I really see the opportunity being at the end of this year after we play England, looking back and um, what a journey we've been on and how cool was it to see what we've turned around uh, to have a lot of people say the things that they have said about our team to question us as All Blacks and just really to prove them wrong but not only that but to prove to each other what we're capable of and who we are as, as All Blacks. How much notice have you taken of the talk? Oh, to be honest I've been at home with two kids so not much um, but you know I, I do know what um, you know, what people are capable of and the noise, outside noise. Um, but really just understand that people care about the All Blacks and, you know, everyone wants the All Blacks to do well. Um, and as All Blacks, we've got to be better at our job and um, not take any of that into consideration, but just to be better for ourselves and for the All Blacks, yeah. South Africa in South Africa, is that as hard a challenge as it gets? Nah, it's tough. It's really tough. Uh, we haven't played there in a while, but a team with so much confidence uh, over their win against Wales um, and the fans and sort of how hostile it can be. Um, but what a challenge for us, it's just the way I look at it. I don't see it any other way than this opportunity being the biggest opportunity against the toughest team in the toughest place and you know to play footy. Uh, yeah, really looking forward to it. Given you win nice both yeah. Scott Robertson and Ian Foster. Why is Foster the man to keep going? Why is he the one that can do the success at next year's World Cup? Uh, Fozzie's the man for the job, I 100% back Fozzie. Um, because of his coaching ability, and I think now you'll have a more hand, hand on role with, with the backs and with the tech. And I've had that sort of taste early on in my All Blacks career, and I was able to gain so much knowledge and had well moments out in the field when he was, when he was coaching. And it's good to see that happened again the last couple of days and um, the direction this team's going just really exciting.